G'day guys, Rob is here, thanks for stopping by. Today I've been to Legs and Breasts. It's basically Tassie's version of Red Rooster, but better. So I've gone the Yankee Burger. I'm pretty sure what the Yankee Burger, I did ask that, but I'm not too sure what I've got the right burger or not. But anyway, I'll um, put it on the screen what I've actually got. <laughs> I've worked out what it is. Uh, I was supposed to have bacon and stuff on it, but I can't see any bacon. So basically cheese, like a BLT, bacon, lettuce, cheese, tomato, with some mayonnaise sauce. So there's the burger there, and I've got a small chips. Hang on. So the small chips, a burger, and a small Pepsi for fifteen eighty. The not burgers nine dollars eighty. So about average prices for fast food, but the taste. No, the pudding's in the taste, or the taste is in the pudding. I don't know. You know what I mean? No, you don't. I don't know what I mean. But anyway. Depends on the taste, so you can pay $20 for a burger, it tastes like crap, and it's worth nothing. Or you can pay $5 for a good burger, and it's really good value, so there you go. There's a chip. Oh, there we go. Bit of seasoning shot there, lots of seasoning, give that a try first. Mm. They do like your normal Red Rooster style stuff, like so you get a chicken. One of my favourites is like a quarter chicken and chips with gravy, so just a packet of Chips with a bit of chicken and a bit of gravy, bloody beautiful. Another chip. Chips are spot on. I'm in the Rolfus mobile today because it's blowing a gale out there. Absolutely buckling down in rain, you probably can't tell, but we'll hope not anyway. There's the burger. So it's just like a, I think it's like a frozen chicken schnitzel that they deep fry and they chuck on the burger. So it actually looks pretty good. There's, they melt the cheese on top. Shouldn't be too hot. I've been driving around lovely Glenorchy trying to find a decent spot to record. I just found a car park because you can't really see much anyway out my window. So, yeah, we'll give it a try. Uh, value and taste scoring today. It's only out of the 20 today. Really tasty. Everything's nice and fresh. I was actually having a good chat to the, I'm guessing he's like the owner or the, the franchise sort of owner about cars and motorbikes while he cooked it fresh for me. So nice bit of lovely customer service from my local shop. This is probably my first non McDonald's, KFC or Hungry Jack's review in ages. I've done a couple of banjo things, but yeah, but there's no more Hungry Jacks in Glenorchy where I am because it burnt down. <laughs> there is no more McDonald's in Glenorchy where I am because it was uh, too many Eshays and too many arseholes hanging around. So I had to get rid of McDonald's because <laughs> that was, it was a, a centre of crime in, in Glenorchy. And KFC, there was nothing exciting for it. Get the old legs and breasts a go. So yeah, really happy with that. $15.90. It's pretty much what you pay for a meal. So barely is 7 out of 10. It's not great. It's not bad. It'll fill me up. I've got a drink, some lovely chips. Uh, taste, 8 out of 10. Very nice. Very fresh. Chips are just, oh, perfect. Um, I mean, it's a can of Pepsi. I'm not going to re review that. So there we go. 15 out of 20. A good, solid score for legs and breasts. If you're ever in Tassie, give them a try. They're bloody nice. Um, they do some, like, really nice chicken. They've got nice salads and that sort of stuff too. So, yeah, they're a really good place to go. You get to go for your family feed. Good value, good taste, that's what you want. That's it for the video. It's the, um, the car's starting to shake, it's that windy outside. I've got to go. You've been awesome. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and if you're new, hello. And get the juices flowing for the algorithm, that sort of thing. And I'll see you next video. Bye.